Hey everyone, it's Aubrey, Recovering Perfectionist, Queen of Distraction, and today we are at Target. I forgot to get a baby gift for somebody, so I'm running in today to do that, which means that I have to go into Target. I don't have the kids with me, and I'm bringing you all along with me because, frankly, me alone in Target can't be trusted. But one of my goals for summer was not to buy anything at Target that was not on my list. So I have my list of what I actually need to get today. No impulse buying. I am a big offender in that front section, the bullseye's playground, the 135, if you will. And Josh and I were at Target a couple days ago. I wanted to pick up diapers, but they didn't have the ones that I wanted. Anyway, long story short, there was this little basket beehive that I didn't buy, but I have not been able to stop thinking about it. So I'm going to look at it and decide if it will actually really work for what I'm imagining in Alex's room as far as like toy storage. Um, it's kind of small, so I, I want to make sure that it will actually be able to be useful instead of just being another thing floating around my house. Also, when Josh and I were at Target, I got Jackson a couple pairs of jeans for school that were $9 but are now today on sale for $6.30. So I'm going to see if they'll do a price match, and if not, I'm honestly probably just going to return them and rebuy them at a discounted rate because between the two pairs of jeans, I could buy a whole other pair of jeans for the same price. So that's me trying to just save a dollar. Anywho, I have my list, but there's nothing wrong with looking at Target. So I do want to take a trip down a couple aisles just to see what's going on. I like to seek inspiration from the home decor. Home decor makes me happy to look at. I'm not gonna deny myself that joy while I'm here. So I've got my jeans, I've got my list, and I'm not going to forget my reusable bag. Okay, so let's just talk about Target for a minute and specifically my relationship with Target. And I suppose that if you have a store that is your downfall, like I think Target is for many people, you can really just apply this anywhere. I guarantee that I am not the only person out there who has experienced this because there are hundreds of very relatable Target memes out there that for a long time I identified with, but I'm very much starting to try and get away from that identity of Target being the one that's in control when I go to the store. I remember my first trip to Target after I got my driver's license. I was 17 and I went there by myself. I had my babysitting money in my purse and I found the cutest pair of gold pointed toe flats on clearance and I wore the life out of those. I 100% got my money's worth but it very much started this snowball effect. Like it was this rewarding high of getting such a good deal on something. And as I grew up, got a real job, moved out of my house, going to Target was the thing to do. And even if I didn't need to go to Target for anything, it was like, let's go to Target. And my friends and I, we'd go to Target or I'd go on my own and I'd hit all the end caps or the clearance racks. And you're not going there for any intentional reason. You're just going there to see what you can find and see if you can get a good deal. And I just, I wish that somehow I could tally up the thousands of dollars I have spent over the course of my adult life on things that I found at Target and purchased because they were on sale. I remember this one specific occurrence. It was shortly after I had Jackson and I went to Target and I found my favorite V-neck and it was on clearance and I bought every single color that I could find available in my size, every pattern. I didn't even like half of them, but it was like, oh, this is a good deal. I'm going to come home with it. I shop very differently now. While I do enjoy browsing and seeing what's out there, I'm shopping with more intention these days, going to the store with the intent of looking for something that I'm actually looking for. Like when I went to Target today, I went looking for a white t-shirt because my white t-shirt got destroyed when we were camping. But even though that's why I'm shopping now, that's not even how I was shopping, say, a year ago. And really since becoming a mom, so the last seven years, Target was a fun thing to do. I'd load up Jackson in the car and we'd go to Target on payday and we'd spend between $100, $150. And the more money we made, the more I could spend at Target. And the less I focused on just the clearance racks and there were other areas of the store that became more accessible for me. And it became easier and easier to spend and I'd see these memes on the internet like, what are you going to Target for? Like, oh, Target will tell me when I get there. And it's like this funny joke and you feel like you're a part of this weird little like cultish Target community. And because there are other people out there who are doing the same thing, it's like okay to go to Target and blow a bunch of money that you don't need to and get sucked in to all of the marketing. Oh, it's okay. Like it's, it's a funny thing to fill your cart with things that you don't need. 
I don't know. I can't shop like that anymore. When I look back on all of those shopping trips, a lot of the stuff was things that I bought for the kids. Most of the time, it wasn't even really expensive stuff. It was stuff that was in the Bullseyes Playground, the 135. And it's, you know, a dollar, three dollars or five dollars, which it adds up over a period of time. And it's little small things that get lost in the shuffle. And it wasn't just toys, it was decor items that I felt like were going to change my life in the moment. And today I bought that beehive and I brought it home and I'm going to return it. The more I thought about it, I knew that, okay, I can validate this. I can put the toys in it that I imagined putting in it for Alec. But after so many years of experience doing that, it's really not going to work out like I imagine that it's going to. The basket isn't going to get used like I imagine it going to. It's going to get broken. It's probably going to fall apart because it was only $5. Or it's just going to be another thing that I'm constantly picking up and having to put away. And that also brings me to the home decor at Target, whether it's in the 135 or the Magnolia or the Studio McGee stuff, which is cute and I love it. But again, if I had a dollar, all of the unintentional impulse home decor that I have bought over the last X amount of years that I now no longer have, I probably could have gone on that trip to Europe that I still would very much like to do someday. But yeah, so this is just me rambling about how I've had a very bad relationship with Target over the years, but I'm, we're just, we're more acquaintances now. They've got the good diapers and the hand soap, and it's kind of a one-stop shop for those last minute things that, you know, sometimes we do need, but I'm done being, I'm done being a victim. And I think what it really comes down to is being able to say no and hold yourself accountable and kind of parent yourself. It's like when you go down the toy aisle with your kid and they want to pick out every single thing, but you're there to tell them, no, you can choose one thing or we have X amount of dollars that we're able to spend. Nobody's doing that for you as an adult when you go to Target or any other store. And I know one thing I remember um, Dawn, the minimal mom, she would say, put up your blinders. And I, I literally did that today when I went through the 135. I, I put up my blinders and like pushed my cart with my elbows for a minute because some of the stuff is just so dang cute and you can imagine it in your home. And I could have bought $50 worth of home decor items today and found a space for them in my home. For example, I was looking for a soap hand pump for my kitchen. The one that I had in there was an old shampoo pump bottle in like a plastic amber bottle. And it was cute for the fact that it was a shampoo bottle, but I ended up putting it in our camping gear. And I was thinking about getting something different from the store to put my soap in in the kitchen, something a little bit fancier and nicer, but really I'm not impressing anybody with it. I would get something new and my husband wouldn't even notice it was there. And yes, it could be something that I would enjoy, but also at the same time, I could either have spent the $15 on the soap pump that I'm probably not even really gonna like a couple years down the road, or I could wait to run out of shampoo again and just go back to that method of just using what I have. And there is something about just using what you have and leaving the store knowing that you went there and got what you came for. Like today, I don't know, maybe that didn't make sense. But like today when I left Target, I didn't feel guilty. It was one of the first times I've gone there and I did not feel guilty. I went there and I got what I needed to. I still got some good deals, but I left there spending under $40. I can say that I felt really proud of myself for doing that because it's hard when when it's almost like you you shop like as a form of retail therapy instead of I don't know I'm losing track of my thoughts I think I just said everything that I needed to say and if you love shopping at Target and it doesn't impact you financially to buy whatever the heck you want super cool for you for me and my family if I blow an extra hundred two hundred dollars that I didn't need to when I go there I know that it takes away from other things that we could be doing as a family. And I guess it just, it makes me feel better to be putting my money in different areas, if that makes sense. So oh, I've been, I've been sitting here, my foot's asleep. That's all. Back to your regularly scheduled shenanigans. Alrighty, so we made it out of Target. I ended up deciding to get the little bee basket and then I was able to get those jeans price adjusted. I'm kind of confused though. I. I think she might have made a mistake, but then also I found the same jeans for $2.40, so I don't know if the price adjustment was so high because it, they were on sale. Either way, I ended up getting two gift cards. It had to be that way for whatever reason. Um, 
for $6.94 each, I think. So 13 something I ended up getting back. I'm really glad that I decided to do that. So that covered the two pairs of jeans that I picked up for Jackson today, which is exciting. And then I didn't end up finding a shirt. Everything's just too crappy. And I've had two kids and I'm just, no, I, I can't do it. I'll find a white t-shirt somewhere else. I found a baby outfit that was $4, a cute pair of jammies. And I got yeah, everything that I needed for only $37 and some cents. I can't remember, but normally, to be completely honest, I remember there was one time I grabbed one of the hand baskets because I thought that having a smaller container, I would manage to impulse buy less, but I spent $160. I get $160 worth of crap in a hand basket. <sighs> Don't get me started on how much money I've spent at Target over the course of my adult life. Anyway. That's all. I'm going to head home. Thank you so much for coming to Target with me and keeping me accountable. As always, I love you. Have fun and be kind.